So what's all the fuss about artificial intelligence in events? Is it for your event? Should you care about it? Let's find out in this video. What's up folks and welcome to another Event MB video. I'm Julio Soares, your editor, and today we're going to be talking about robots and artificial intelligence and what do they mean for your event. There's a lot of talk in the industry about artificial intelligence. Everybody's excited about chatbots, the level of investment is massive. Tech giants are spending millions into developing artificial intelligence powered tools. But I know you dear event planners, I know you're super busy and I don't want to spoil your beautiful to-do lists. I know they're very, very rich already. So should you care about it? Is it something to add to your to-do list on top of food and beverage and accommodation and so forth? So let's find out. So why should you care about AI? I mean, it's a cool thing we have it on our phone, we may have it in our homes, but does it matter to your event? This is what we need to find out. And our research says that the four major benefits um, that AI is bringing to events are, are really focused and narrowed. I mean, there's not much more than that at this moment in time. And this is what you should care about. Number one, speed up lines and how attendees check into your event. Number two is the security of your event. Number three is untapping marketing opportunities that come with AI. Number four is improving the customer service and save on temporary staff costs. Let's talk about how you're going to use artificial intelligence at your next event. Because really the main use you should be seeking for is mobile apps. Uh, this is the most convenient one. Um, our research says that 25% of apps on the market have some level of artificial intelligence in their tool. So really don't look outside of it because it's probably something that you are already using for your event, doesn't need extra work. At the same time, uh, you don't want to be spending a lot of money into big expensive facial recognition um, hardware specifically, uh, which is probably one of the most exciting as well. But if you don't plan large events, uh, if you work with smaller meetings, probably this is not something for you to look at. Uh, really, you should be focusing on uh, facial recognition and that type of AI-powered technology only if you work with large music festivals, concerts, sporting events, large, very large conventions, 40,000, 50,000 attendees plus. Chatbots. Let's talk about chatbots because this is probably the most accessible and popular technology being used right now because it's easy to implement. It integrates uh, with a lot of tools that we currently use and actually can deliver value um, to your event. We're now getting used to um, Siri, Alexa, uh, Google Home, uh, Apple HomePod. We used to talk to uh, smart assistants that give us answers. And we can use voice or we can use our fingers and tap and chat and ask questions. So what does it mean for your event? So think about the event environment. Think about um, the time that it takes in an event mobile app, in a conference environment, in a trade show environment to find where a booth specifically is or if um, a session is starting on, where, where is that going to happen? Uh, if a specific speaker um, is going to present, where are they going to be? Um, or who should I meet in an event? Um, all these um, questions need fast answers. If it takes more than two minutes to go into a, an app and go through hundreds of screens, two minutes is an eternity in events time because you know we're talking about a day, two days. And yeah, I cannot waste time uh, looking for vital information that I need in real time. So the opportunity there is to give immediate information and concierge apps, chatbots, apps do that really, really well. So what's the benefit there? The benefit is to save your temporary staff time. The people you put on the show floor as answering the same questions all over again. I was recently presenting to a large uh, corporation and we were talking to different teams. And while most of the people in this, in this um, event were skeptical about AI, the people on the show floor, those answering the questions were 100% convinced that this was the, go, the way to go uh, forward because at the end of the day, people are going to ask the same questions all over again. Um, and you want to use technology that helps in solving those questions. At the same time, you have to be uh, concerned with the implementation of the app that you, cho that you choose 
for your event because at the end of the day really you don't want an app that doesn't work it's great to have a concierge on paper but if the implementation is wrong then you're going to have a problem rather than a solution so only choose apps that really uh, perform well and are really smart in understanding what your attendees want test 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 ask for references ask for real case scenarios in demos with your event and also spend the time in coming up with questions that are relevant for your event and populating the app uh, with the most uh, recurring case scenarios that you will have on the show floor. So let's talk about marketing. All excited about marketing, right? Selling more tickets, selling more uh, exhibition stands or sponsorship opportunities. AI helps you with that because AI is a data gold mine, okay? Um, we get a lot of data these days, but what do we do with the big data, as they call it? It's still a big question mark for the event industry. Um, we sit down on reports and we don't necessarily action them because they're confusing and they have way too much information for our already overloaded minds. Um, and so, yeah, AI comes to help in this um, environment because it makes sense of the information for you and it tells you where you need to act. So what does it practically mean for your event? What about if someone bought a ticket from your event? What about if um, an app would suggest people that are highly likely to purchase a ticket as well based on their social network profiles, for example, or the connection types with the attendee that you just gained. This is one of the biggest opportunities that AI is bringing along because through what we call deep learning, so the ability to learn about the evolving uh, marketing scenario, AI will recommend actions that are super targeted and with high potential of conversion. But also think about your exhibitors and your sponsors and the fact they want more for their investment. I mean, it's not about exposure anymore. We talked about that profusely. It's about giving them value. So how does AI help you to deliver that value? Let's think about a scenario where we're in a 50,000 attendee uh, trade show and really um, all your exhibitors are in a booth trying to get, grab the attention of people passing by. How can you make that better? AI helps you with that because it really uh, gives you the intelligence to connect the exhibitors with the attendees that are most likely to convert uh, with them and become clients and customers because at the end of the day, it's better to have 20 customers than 2,000 people that don't care. Let's talk about security, the most pressing item on the agenda of many, many event professionals all over the world. Whether your event is small or big, doesn't matter. Uh, we are under threat, events are being attacked, are the target number one of terrorist actions. So AI comes to the rescue in this case because it really gives you that ability to um, scan and get data about who's attending your event. There are more and more music festivals that are using facial recognition technology to scan the attendees of, of the event and get information about their backgrounds and whether they pose a potential threat. Um, this is happening right now, so it's not something that we can see in 10 years time, it's actually already happening. So especially if you work with large events, this is one you want to look into. And then obviously let's talk about something that everybody loves, lines. Absolutely, um, sarcasm there, if you didn't get it. I guess, you know, nobody likes lines, nobody likes to wait. Um, even if you're an event planner, you don't like lines because it means that you're facing a problem with people not being happy um, about something that should be happening in a snap. So how do you use AI to speed up lines? There's a number, growing number of technologies giving you the ability to scan a face and um, grab data from their social networks and check them in very easily. And there are growing rumors that Apple, with the new uh, smartphone they're launching on the market, will introduce some level of facial recognition to pay, for example. So there you go, great application that may become mainstream very, very soon. So definitely one to watch. In conclusion, we are just at the beginning of the artificial intelligence revolution in events. Uh, we are merely scratching the surface of 
the potential applications in the industry. Uh, we can foresee many more applications coming forward. What should you do about it, really? Keep yourself informed. Um, read more, read case studies, learn about how other event professionals around the world are using um, AI in your specific vertical. So if you, if you are in music festivals, read about very specific case studies. If you plan conferences, see uh, what the best practices there are. We have a number of articles on, on Event MB uh, for that. And also start asking your suppliers, the one you currently use, how are they going to plan to incorporate AI in their technology? It's not something to have right now, but really you should test their uh, disposition to innovate because they can do it for you and you don't have to disrupt your processes. This is so important. So that's it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, I demand you give us a like or subscribe to the channel if you want to get more videos like this. I'm Julius Solaris, your editor, and I'll see you at the next one.